Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you around the DEF injector, how it works. As you can see, this DEF injector, you see, this is the nozzle in here, this is the solenoid, the ones that open and close, this is the DEF line, and these two are coolant lines to cool down the injector, alright? So this one, this design belongs to Volvo. This one is a update version for the older one. The older one has a straight fittings and staying to 90 degrees fittings. Okay, so that's the difference. The other, anything else is the same. Even the, the connection that goes in here, the harness is this, exactly the same. It's just the these three fittings are straight fittings. So let's start saying for all the trucks, the DEF injectors does the same job. It doesn't matter if it only has one line or it has three lines. For example, Volvo uh, put three lines because they cool down the DEF injector with coolant. Some of them, they don't. They cool down the, the, the DEF injector at all. But in the later uh, models, uh, they update the design and they have now two lines. But you, as you can see, this one has only one line for the DEF injector, right? Some like the newer Cascadias, for example, it has two lines for for DEF. One I believe is for the red, for the inlet, and the other one is for the return. For example, whatever DEF the injector doesn't use, it returns again to the tank. So, first thing you need to know, right? As you can see, this part in here, okay? And this part is where the DEF uh, injection comes, okay? I mean, this is like completely, uh, this is the nozzle, and the, inject, the injection occurs in here when, while you're doing the region, or you are driving the highway, uh, this prevents to the NOx to go high. So it makes, you know, the it makes the combustion here and I start, you know, spraying DEF. Like uh, it depends how much you require. Sometimes a lot, sometimes less. And uh, one of the things many drivers ask me is why it becomes white. Is because the solution, the urea solution, once comes out exposedly to the air, it, it, it gets to crystallize. It, it start getting in, into this composition. And as you can see in here, all this white stuff in there is because of that. All right. So, why the EPA required this thing? to pass the emissions because they say oh yeah the DPF is not enough so we need something that clear more the air so they came out with this idea add another component to the uh, emission system and there you are the SCR so in later uh, uh, beginning from 2000 I believe 11 I think between 10 and 11 SCR start coming out and the trucks and we have like pretty Asian SCR like big and tall SCRs on the rear they were like a pain to change it and really expensive for example Freilander has like a something like big a really big uh, muffler on the back and really ugly and the drivers were hitting when they they when they, they make like sharp turns the driver hits the SCR because it goes on the right, and when they go to the, completely to the right, they touch it and break the, for example, the knock sensor, and you know little things like that. So later on, and then you know newer design, uh, Freilander changed that design and start doing one box design, and like, like I'm saying, there, and I don't know there right now it's a perfect design, but it's better than the older designs. Volvo, for me, Volvo has the one of the best design for the DPF because 
All of them are in the, on the right hand side, but on the lower part of the of the passenger door. So that's a, Volvo has always for me one of the best designs for the DPF and SCR because they are not complicated, and especially the SCR has no sensors at all. It's just the plain box with the Nox uh, with the Nox outlet sensor after it, and really good design. The problem with Volvos, as I stated before, is just the electronic part. Okay, so. Coming back to the set, to the DEF injector, this is what this is when the injector receives the signal. There's a connection in here and open and close, open and close as much as much as it needs. And this is the DEF line. I if you are planning to replace the DEF injector, remember this part cannot be reused because if you open it and they say oh we don't have it you had to wait for your part because once you open it these things has def inside and it gets crystallized and the problem is if you put it back it might be clogged already because it gets really hard you might be able to clean it with uh, hot water but i especially don't recommend it because it's a waste of time and it might not work and even if it works, right, you might have troubles over the road. So I suggest you to wait for the new one, okay? And if you have like, a, for example, uh, your truck is losing coolant, especially on Volvos, this is for Volvo drivers or Volvo owners, you might check it out around this part, you know, your passenger side door on the lower side, check it. And if you see a coolant leak or around that around that place, it might you might need to replace the hoses that goes in these two in these two uh, fittings. So that's what I have today for you guys. I'm sorry I didn't post videos lately. I'm being you know sick and kind of busy at work. But I'm gonna try to. If you have any questions about the DEF injector, please answer. Uh, uh write it in the comment section below and i'm gonna try to answer to you guys and thank you for watching and i'm planning to do other videos related to the scr and related to the engine parts i have i have another one from transmissions but i will see if i can do it or not and thank you for your support guys and i'll see you in my next video thanks